Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Eerie and welcome to a brand new series and episode of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. This is going to be the expert mode version and uh, I'll show you guys what the expert mode version is in just a second. But before we get into it, I want to say to you that I haven't been on YouTube now purely because I've been super, super busy in my personal life. Um, but everything's all sorted now. And I want to do some more videos for you guys. Uh, I'm, I am sorry that I haven't been on for quite some time. Uh, I know some of you guys are probably going, oh, he hasn't been on. I, I haven't. I'm so sorry. But I'm, I want to get back onto this and I want to do expert mode on the Infinity Evolved. There is tons of videos on YouTube of different YouTubers doing this version. Um, and I thought, yeah, I want to do this. I, I want to go from start to finish and do the whole lot. Um, because I haven't been doing my series, I haven't been following them through. So I'm just going to do this series, I'm going to keep at this series and do it until we're finished right through to the end. And um, before, also before we get into this, I want to say I have changed my recording software. Uh, I have been looking at my previous content and it's been awful. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's been terrible. I don't know how you guys actually watch me um, It is really bad the content. I was like geez that is terrible So I have changed my recording software and I know my microphone isn't the greatest But it's in the pipeline of me buying myself a decent one So my voice is a little bit better than what you can hear now um, but I'm hoping that this recording software isn't too laggy for you guys to watch. Uh, but if you want me to keep using this, just post it in the comments below. Leave a like. Um, but if you want me to go back to my other recording software, just let me know. And I'll quite happily go back to my original recording equipment. But without further ado, let's get into this. There's enough of me uh, chit-chatting away. Uh, let's get into this. So the first thing we're going to do is, obviously, in every new world, we're going to create ourselves a new world. And we're going to call it Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved um, Expert Mode. If I can spell Expert Mode. Expert Mode. There we go. We'll do this. And um, we're going to keep a survival. And I do believe Biomes O'Plenty is on here, so if you guys like Biomes O'Plenty, go ahead and load it in with Biomes O'Plenty. But I'm going to keep it default, purely because I find the Biomes O'Plenty is good, but I always find it throws you in the most awkward places. I mean, it throws you in the middle of the ocean, like on sand blocks, without a sapling or a tree. And you have to travel miles and miles and miles by swimming, because you can't build a, yourself a boat because you don't actually have the uh, wood uh, to go and find a tree. And you could be literally sat on your desktop for quite some time. Unless you're on your laptop. Whichever one. But you could be sat there for quite some time. So that's one of the reasons I don't really like biomes of plenty as much. Um, so hopefully we're going to spawn somewhere quite decent. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, hopefully this is not too laggy for you guys. If it is, you can just say in the comments below and say, dude, this is terrible. Um, I, I really don't mind. Okay, so where are we? We are in, uh, I, I can't find it. Where, where are we looking? <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, we're in a Taiga biome. Here we go, here we go. So we're in a Taiga. Is this a Taiga, really? I thought this is like a, a spruce forest or something. Um, no, it's still saying Tega. Hmm, alright, okay. So let's take a look around. So, uh, we've got some wolves here. So, before we get into the looking actually or look, or looking around, we need to set this into expert mode. And uh, I said to you guys, I'll, I'll show you what expert mode is. So let's take a look at some boots. Uh, don't ask me why, but <laughs> we're going to look at some boots. And I like the Traveler's Boots. It is just like the Boots of the Traveler from Formcraft. And for some of you guys that don't know what boots uh, the Traveler's Boots are or the Formcraft Boots are, the Traveler, it makes you run faster. It has auto-step, I believe. I, I'm pretty sure it's auto-step. And um, it just makes your life so much easier to get around your world on foot. And to get these from Tinker's Construct is so easy. It's only six leather, two string, and one aluminium ingot. Yeah, this is going to change. If we go back out and we put a command in here, and 
we just put set to expert mode. You can see I've been putting it on expert mode on previous uh, maps. I've just been having a look around. If we go to FTB underscore um, mode set expert, I believe it is. If I can spell expert, I always keep putting the P. And uh, we hit enter, you'll see a little bit of lag. And then game mode has set to expert. And if we go back and take a look at those boots, yeah, that's completely changed. It don't require the aluminium anymore. It requires the boots of the Traveller from Thorncraft. And you're going to need the uh, the Thorncraft book. I can't actually remember off the top of my head what it's called. Um, and it shows you how to do that. And I'm pretty sure that is quite an expensive recipe to get those boots. And then you're going to need some hardened leather, which you're going to need some leather, normal leather, with beeswax or just normal wax and you can get normal wax from candle berries which you can find around in the world that's from pounds harvest craft and i believe the normal wax you can just find in the world as well in uh bees hive in the beehive i think it is um oh we need that we could, we'll take that that's some some cotton we can make string with that so uh yeah everything has changed and um you'll quite notice in when you first get on here you cut down a tree and you get yourself your first piece of wood and you want to go and craft yourself a crafting table and let's do that you place it in and you'll see one log only gives you two planks instead of the original four so it, it's changed the wood aspect of things as well so we're going to get ourselves a crafting station from Tinker's Construct and we're just going to chop this tree down so um, you cannot get wooden axes um, you can only get yourself a wooden pickaxe, I believe. I don't know about swords. I'm not too sure you can get a wooden sword. I think the recipes have changed for swords and also other types. So if we take a look at a wooden sword, yeah, you can't craft it. As you can see, there's no crafting recipe, so you can't craft it. You can craft um, the iron. But you can't use it. It only has one durability. So you can see it's used for crafting only. And you can't make anything else apart from these, which is for crafting also. So you have to go down uh, Tinker's Construct route to get yourself some tools. So we're just going to need some wood. And then we can make ourselves the wooden pickaxe. And then we can go ahead and go and get some stone. And then when we've got stone, we can then go and make ourselves a stone axe. And then we can use a stone axe to chop these trees down a lot quicker than what we're doing now. And where's the sun at? Okay, it's up midday. So that's not too bad. We can, there's enough time for us to go and have a look around. Cool, um, a place to call home. Uh, so we can settle down for a bit. We may not settle there for the rest of the time here. Um, but we'll see. We'll see where we end up. So, um, so let's do... Hmm, let's get some planks to begin with. Let's throw this on the floor. And let's get ourselves some sticks. As you can see, we only get two sticks with two planks. We used to get four, we only get two now. So uh, that's um, it's changed that aspect as well. We're going to need a pickaxe. Uh, there we go. We've got time to mine. Um, I should put those at the top there. Um, so let's go find some stone. Because I want to get a stone axe as quickly as I can. I don't want to go in that other direction because there's taint over there. I'm not a big fan of... Ooh, there's a, there's a village. Ooh, that's not bad. Actually, I'm going to double back on myself. I'm going to go in this direction. Uh, I want to go and have a look at the village because villages are very handy in expert mode. And you guys will see in just a second why if we find the certain building I'm looking for. Um, I do need to get some food, but that should also be in the village. Uh, we are going in the right direction, aren't we? No, we're going in the wrong way. We've got to go this way. There we go. Uh, so we've got some rubber wood here. That's not bad. Um, where's that village? Probably over here somewhere. Um, if we can get some... Actually, let's get some stone first. Let's go in this direction. There's some stone up there. Let's go around here. Oh, okay. There's some copper there. We can't grab the copper just yet, but we'll grab this stone. And uh, then we can then craft ourselves the axe. So there we go. I do believe this is only has a five durability. So you only get six stone with the wood pickaxe. 
which is not very good, but there we go. That's what you get for playing expert mode. And there we go. And we have ourselves a stone axe, which you can use. It has 63 uh, chops in this, um, or the durability. I just say chops because that's how many chops you can get out of this thing. And uh, we can just chop down trees a hell of a lot faster than we, what we can with our fist. So there we go. That is pretty nice. So we've got a little bit of wood. I've uh, got 13 exactly. Uh, we need to get around this bloody hill thing here, this cliff. Uh, we could go around, what is this? Ooh, it's a magical forest. I do like magical forests. I don't mind setting up camp in those. They do look pretty nice, I must admit. Um, let's just get up past this cliff first. This is where that um, village is. So let's go up here. Let's just tunnel our way through, like so. There we go, there's a ton of sheep around here, which is quite nice. We can't shear them just yet because we don't have no iron. I do believe you can use copper, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can use copper. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit laggy at the moment. Uh, we're still loading chunks around us. Uh, you probably get that for quite a bit until you sort of settle down and it just eases off. Um, so let's go over here. Let's see what this has got. Uh, where's the entrance to this thing? It's quite a big old place actually. We could bust through the wall. Uh, no we can't because I don't have a pickaxe. I could tunnel underneath. That might be not be a bad thing to do. Okay, we're now in the village and we have ourselves some food. Way nice. Uh, Pan's Harvest Craft adds in the nice nifty effect of just right clicking and it just pops off the food so you don't have to break them and replant them. So I'm just going to pop off some, uh, uh, some wheat here and maybe some potatoes if there is, which there are. We've got three potatoes and we've got eight wheat and we've got seven carrots, which is not too bad. And uh, we've got some more wheat down here, which I'll take, because uh, why not? Um, we're going to need plenty of food. I can't remember what mode this is set on. Oh, I've got on hard mode as well, so it's on hard difficulty. Um, I don't want you to have my apple. What the hell is this thing? Wooden Y track? Don't know what that is. No clue. Uh, so Angry Craft is on this pack as well. I just now picked up a torch. I don't know why that is. Um, right, okay. I'm looking for a specific building. I do believe this is one of them. Yes, there we go. This is one of the buildings I'm looking for. This is a Tinker's Construct building. And hopefully they have some Tinker's tools in here, which they do. We've got a flint pickaxe head. Uh, we've got copper axe. Yes, nice. An obsidian sword blade. This is what I can do with. Uh, is there anything else in here? Oh, there is. Oh, bronze pickaxe head. Nice. I'm going to take these and I'm going to make ourselves some tools. I can't believe I found this already. Uh, is it getting dark? Oh, oh my god, it's getting dark. Christ almighty. Um, right, so let's make this. So we've got to go to the tool station. Um, so what kind of binding shall we have? Might as well put a good one, maybe? We need a, a tool rod. I don't think we've got a tool rod, but we can do sticks, I think. So we get a couple of sticks and throw in that like so, that there, that there. There we go, we now have a bronze pickaxe. Holy crap, we've already got a bronze pickaxe, that is cool. Uh, I do want a hatchet, which we do have a copper axe head, or a slime. The durability on that is pretty good. Uh, you should speed, you look at the speed on that. That's 1.5 and that one has 5, but that has a high durability. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, no, I'm going to go for copper. I, I, I think the speed on the other one will be painful. Um, so I'm just going to go with copper. I think I think slime's not a great thing to have. So we now have a copper, so we don't need the stone axe anymore. Like, let's see durability as 180. So that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Um, obsidian. What's the attack? One heart, and that is also one heart. The durability on that is 89, and that's 180. So obviously we're going to go with a copper sword. 
we can go for the Cactus Wide Guard, and it has the Jagged modifier, which is a little bit more damage to the enemy, which is also good in our case. And let's make ourselves a broadsword uh, with that there and that there. We now have a copper broadsword with jagged. It has an attack of three hearts, a uh, durability of 216, and it has three modifiers remaining. Cool. I think the only thing that we really don't have is a shovel. I don't think we got a shovel. Is there a shovel anywhere in here? No, there's not. Why are you asleep? <laughs> they go to sleep they're just like oh, sod it. I'm going to sleep tonight holy crap look how many stuff there is like how many mobs and villagers around here there are tons it's no wonder my computer is slowing down um, the copper pan paper yeah there's nothing really else in here that I really want um, iron knife nah I'm not I'm not really bothered with that, so I can throw all this in here. Um, villager, what's he selling? Um, eight emeralds for an iron pickaxe, really? That's terrible. No sirree. Um, Alright, so we could steal their stations actually in this. Yeah, why not? I'm going to take all this. Instead of making them, why not? We can just take them. Um, I could take the wool as well and we could sleep through the night so we could quickly make ourselves a bed yeah, let's do that let's make ourselves a bed we could sleep through the night I don't want to go out there while it's dark because um, there's nasty mobs out there and no doubt I've got this on hard mode and I will die I'm not gonna lie I will die so let's do this and this and make ourselves a bed sleep through the night and then we can go ahead and wander around the world and see what we can find and hopefully we can find something decent. Um, so I'm pretty happy that we got these tools set at the moment. We got like copper tools already. And we're not even like, this is episode one of expert mode. And we got copper tools. I'm quite excited about that. Uh, okay, so we've got some, oh, got another um, Tinker's room here. And they can't get out. So hopefully they might actually have a shovel pattern in here. Mm, it's not looking good. Mm, no, it's not looking good at all, is it? No, they don't have one at all. Damn it. Uh, we could take the wall, but I'm going to leave it in there. And <laughs> let's just block it this off again so they can't get out. Um, let's go up here. That, that's normally a good building to go and have a look around. <gasps> My god, we're lagging so bad. There's been so many mobs around here. Uh, anything in these furnaces? No, but I will take the furnaces, though. And you guys will see in just a second why I'm taking them. Uh, ooh, a diamond. Yes! Oh, no! Oh! There's a shovel. Oh, I was going to say. Yes, we've got a shovel, but we can't use it. It's only for crafting. Uh, I've got thorns or a black lotus. I'll take the black lotus. I'm not really taking the thorns. I could take the chest, though. And chuck the thorns out. I don't want thorns. Why would you want thorns? Uh, anything else around here like it would be quite nice if there was a forge around here um, a tinker's forge but I don't think there is all oh, there is here yes that's what I need so we could I think is it in this direction yeah there we go so let's go to raid their forge if we if that is a forge we're gonna be laughing is that a forge where is it uh, where are we? So it should be just around the corner here. Should be. Is it? Oh, it is! Yes! We have a tall forge! Oh my god! This has got to be the best um, start so far of everything I've done. This has got, got to be the best start I've uh, ever done. I can't believe we've got a Tinker's Tool Forge at the moment. So this is going to save a heck of a lot of time. Um, getting into expert mode um, the furnaces when I picked up and I said to you guys I'll be uh, saying why when you get a cobblestone and you surround it like a furnace how you would in vanilla you only get a half furnace you only get like a slab furnace and that is from Tinker's Construct to actually get a full fist like this here you have to have a compressed cobblestone which is nine cobblestone 
in a, a crafting grid to only get you one compressed cobblestone and you need eight of those to actually just get yourself a furnace. So uh, I'm quite happy to have the two full furnaces at the moment. I know cobblestone is easy to get, but expert mode, it's not, it is easy, but to begin with, it's not that easy because you need a stone pickaxe and uh, it's just so grindy as well just to get cobblestone to begin with. So we've got 57 seared bricks. We've got ourselves a diamond. Um, we've got ourselves some copper tools. We've got ourselves a bed. We've got ourselves two full furnaces. Oh my God. This is... Um, I'm surprised they haven't come and attacked us yet. Uh, did we go and have a look in that building there? Is that the one we just ran from? Might go have to go and check that out. Um, I can't get out of here, can I? I just have to go down here. But let's go and check out that building. I'm pretty sure I looted that building just here. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, I just wanted to quickly double make sure. Yeah, I did, because I took those furnaces. Cool, so let's get the hell out of here. And let's go and find ourselves somewhere to settle down. And dear lord, that is pretty loud. Let's turn this down a little bit. Uh, I'd probably just, what's this? Oh, a blue flower from um, Britannia. So let's just bust through this wall here. Uh, this can be our little um, entrance, sneaky entrance into the villager's home. And uh, if we ever need to go back there and steal some more stuff. Uh, there's some, uh, what's this? Iron gravel from Tinker's Construct. Ooh, there's a nice little cave here. Might go and settle down in there. All I could do with some copper. Um, we can use this copper to uh, repair our copper tools if we need to because at the moment well what are we doing at the moment so we've got 494 out of 550 so we've still got a little bit left of durability on our pickaxe but it's not going to last forever um we could what's in here where does this go oh it goes back outside i might set up camp here we're quite close to the village uh let's get a torch and place this in here. We've got some coal, um, some coal here, so we could use this coal. What's that noise? I think an Enderman is pretty um, peed off that we're here, and we need to go and find where they are. Um, could sell down in here, maybe. Yeah, why not? I think this might be a good place to settle. I need to find those. Um, Enderman and all that because that's just gonna annoy me underground. I think they're under here somewhere Let's just have a little dig around No Behind this wall, maybe They're around here somewhere. I can hear you. I just can't find them. Maybe they're outside Let's go and have a wander. Are they out here anywhere? Oh This is a deep hole. Maybe they're under here Mm, no. Thought they might be. No, they're not under there either. I wonder where they are then. They've got to be somewhere. I can't have them keep bloody disturbing me. That's just going to annoy me. Unless we move out somewhere else. Okay, guys, I've just now had a little bit of a little wander around. And I think I might set up camp around this area. Because I like this little water... Like, I don't know what it is, like a, a lake type thing. We've got um, the magical forest over there, which I might go and check out. But I think I might sort of like dig into this mountain here. And we can make like this mountain our base. And then we can sort of like have like machines up the top here. And out here we can have stuff in the middle of the lake. And I, I hear lava. Mm, that's, that's good, but that's not good. Uh, so I think I might build our base here. Yeah, this is not bad. So let's um, dig into the side here and get a little bit of infrastructure going. Um, and then I think I might call it a day for episode one of Feed the Beast Infinity. But uh, let's just dig in here. Let's see what we can do. Um, so let me just have a little dig around. Okay, guys, so I've just now dug out this room. I've placed our bed. I've placed a couple of furnaces, a crafting table, our chest here. And just placed all of our junk in there like so we're going to set all these out next episode and we're going to make ourselves the forge but there is a problem we're gonna need a bucket and if we take a look at a bucket um it's not that easy to craft uh, normally you have to have three ingots of iron we're going to need some iron plates and to get iron plates we're going to need a forge hammer 
and note that it's two iron ingots per one plate so we're going to need uh, two four six six ingots of iron just to make a bucket when you only need three in the original version uh, and to make the hammer uh, the hammer is easy to make we're just going to need five um, iron so that's not the difficult part uh, believe it or not the difficult part is to get these treated sticks to get treated sticks we're going to need treated wood planks and to get treated wood planks we're going to need some creosote and we need some wood surrounded with the creosote i believe you can use glass bottles which you can uh, and with a creosote we're going to need ourselves the coke oven it's easy but we're gonna need some clay and we're gonna need some sand and we're gonna need a lot of it. I believe we're gonna need like 28 blocks, I think, a three by three by three. So it's a hollow in the middle to get the, our creosote and we're gonna need some actual um, coal. I think you can use wood, but it doesn't produce as much. Um, I don't know why the grid's on here. Uh, let's turn that off, there we go. Um, so we're going to need a door as well. I don't think the wood um, creates a lot of creosote. Uh, so I, in here I've got the door pattern. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to go for this door where you can actually see through it or an actual full solid spruce wood door. I don't know what kind of other doors there is um, that we can make. I think I don't know whether carpenter's blocks are on here. Um, I do believe it is yeah there's quite a few doors on here oh there is a carpenter's door we can use carpenter's blocks uh, we could use a carpenter's door actually hmm yeah i think i'm like uh, yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do a carpenter's door i think yeah i'm gonna do that quickly now uh let's do this um so we're gonna need eight of those with that in the middle surround like so we're gonna need another one of those don't we? yeah I thought so um, let's do this and get six All right, so we're gonna use quite a lot of wood here get that and like so guess that's eight sticks around like that and there we go do it like so and we have now have a carpenter's door cool there we go we can now see outside we can use a carpenter's hammer to change the design of this but i don't think we've got what we it takes to actually get that carpenter's uh carpenter's hammer yeah we're gonna need some iron which i don't think we've got at the moment now we don't have any iron whatsoever so um we're gonna need to go mine in next episode or oh, i might do it off camera quickly um just to get a little bit of resource and then next episode like i said we're gonna to have to try and get ourselves a coke oven to then get ourselves the forge hammer to make a bucket and then with the bucket we can get some lava we can then build ourselves the smeltery from tinker's construct to then double our ores and to get ourselves some better tools as well because these topper ones ain't gonna last forever i'm not gonna lie they're not gonna be best so uh, after that guys i'm gonna end episode one of feed the beast infinity evolved expert mode here i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and of course if you have be sure to hit that like button down below and i'll see you dudes back on episode two when we're gonna hopefully get a coke oven and get ourselves some creosote